Turn it on. I, no, I'm good. Thanks, so. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, oh my god. Just kidding. I turned it on again. <laughs> What's up, guys? Not, not a single laugh in the house. Yeah, no one actually that liked your joke. It's because they're too into it. No. Yeah. You guys like JJK? <laughs> okay, good, because I That's wonder cool. why you were here. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> well, we're actually going to premiere a new... I'm just kidding, we're not. This is... Oh. <laughs> me so much. I just wanted to be in the middle so I could feel close to all my friends. <laughs> no. I what said, is he going to do? Separate the wives? Um, no, thank no. you. Yeah, yeah, see, you get it, Professor. Yeah, you get it. Um, should we introduce ourselves for the people who just are waiting for the K-pop thing that's next? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My name's Adam MacArthur. I play That's not true. That's not true. I like Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, I mean, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, I mean, Jennifer Lawrence. Guys, My name is Matthew David Rudd. I play Panda in Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> is Panda ever in it? Not this season. I'm just kidding. This is going to be how the panel goes. This is going to be how I'm Adam MacArthur. Stop it! <laughs> I'm Allegra Clark and I play Naki and Miwa. <laughs> That's the right reaction. Yeah. I'm Adam MacArthur. Stop it! It's not true! No, it hasn't been. There's one, two, three. I know, you're right. Yet. You're right. It's a rule of thirds. It's, it's good comedy. Yeah, thank you. The rule uh, of thirds is photography. Yeah. Rule of thirds. <laughs> you're, right. you're right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Andy Atko, and I voice Nobara Kugisaki. Yeah. And my name's Adam MacArthur. I'm into girls like Jennifer Lawrence, and I voice Yuji Itadori on Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. It wasn't funny when you did it because we hit four, so it stopped being yeah. funny. I already made that joke. Right That's here. why I didn't want to see Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Dang it! You guys, I'm not having fun. <laughs> you don't. I'm just kidding. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. Are you, you guys having a great time? time? No, you're not having a great time. Quite yeah. We're all having. You could fun. be having a better time if we talked about Jujutsu Kaisen, right? Yeah. 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 Yes. Who's seen the new season so far? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 I haven't started it yet. Oh my god. You're in for it. Oh my god. I know. Um, how many of you guys are manga readers? Great. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, how many of you are anime only? I'm so sorry. No. 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 It's not a no. It's not a It really wasn't actually on this. Really. Wait. Raise your hand. Anime only. Anime only. Honestly, yeah. like I get it. Yeah, you want to be surprised. Yeah. That's respect. That's great. That's and a, and no and preemptively, I would like to tell you, I'm so sorry for what you're about to witness. Yes. Yeah, no. Uh, yes. You want to be season. surprised by all the sadness and heartbreak. Yeah, you're gonna be surprised by all the trauma. It's trauma. Gonna be trauma. So much it's gonna trauma. be great. But I think that's why we all like anime anyway. Trauma. The trauma. It's Am I mental wrong? illness. I don't think I'm. Oh. Yeah. I'm um, mentally ill, so I can make that joke. So, question, everyone up here, yes. what about you? Anime only or manga readers? Manga reader. Manga reader. Matt? I, I read stuff that Panda's in, so like... Wow. You know? Oh, so nothing. <laughs> yeah, so nothing. Oh, now oh, she's in on it. Oh. Yep. I, like, I like how the tides have turned. <laughs> uh, how the turntables have turned. Yeah. Oh, my, how the turntables have Okay, so, so with that said, though, you, got, you guys know what's coming. Oh, yeah, I do. For season two. Matt, you're still kind of in the dark as far as what's coming for season two or what? Season two, yeah, I'm in the dark. I know, again, really, I've just looked ahead at some panda stuff, which is later, later on, of course, but uh, I don't know season two. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Adam, how do you say Shibuya? Shibuya? Oh, okay. <laughs> Have you messed it up a bunch? No. Oh, I'm sorry. There was someone else. <laughs> what is happening? Everyone's Wait, against me. I'm okay, like, okay, okay, okay. I knew. Apparently, they've done like six thousand yeah. panels okay. together. Okay, quick, quick! Everybody, go down, go down the line, and tell me your favorite character who's not your own. What? Uh, my favorite character is Toge, uh, with the with the cursed speech. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, He's the yeah best. we know who he is. You don't have to say the guy. The guy. You know, with the uh, uh, Toge. With the uh, <laughs> you know the seven guy. Yeah. yeah. I was told there was a bit. We're not doing oh, it. And then no. <laughs> he immediately gaslit you. You immediately... There was a bit. They Everybody's were... favorite is Toge. That's the bit. <laughs> no, it's Nanami. Nanami? It's my favorite. Who? 
Not that's amazing. Just not Did you guys song. lie to me? Yeah. No, 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 it's true. It's okay, for me. Well, I know it's your favorite character. <laughs> no, seriously, backstage, he was. I was like, I've never done a JJ campaign with you guys before. And he was just like, okay, here's the bit. Whenever we go out, we always say that Nanami's our favorite character. And I was like, dope, I can get behind that. I love being a troll, I love this. Also, he's great, so it's not a lie. Uh, and then the first thing he does... Toge is my favorite. <laughs> Why do I like you? I just like that you're not messing with me at this moment. Yeah, uh, just you wait. The, okay. We're gonna get we're gonna get to you again. So, wait, so but is your is your legitimate answer then Nanami still? Uh no, it's uh, Nobara. Uh, yeah. 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 No, my yeah one person over there like Nobara too. Also yeah. yeah. Also my. I'm not gonna lie. I love my, my sister. Aww. I love her. I love my sister. And who's yours? It's Nanami. Nanami. Yeah. But also Maki. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> Who's your favorite, Adam? Toto. Yeah. For sure, it's Toto. Uh, yeah. My, no, my non-me favorite is Toto. <laughs> Otherwise, it's me. I'm my favorite. No, honestly, I'm my favorite, too. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. Maki is the absolute coolest. She's arguably one of the coolest characters yes. I've voiced. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. And if you know, I mean, as you do, what's coming in the manga, Maki only continues to get... Oh, yeah, she's Only so continues to get cooler. I mean, I mean, I mean, if Panda was in it more, he'd be the coolest, but... I mean... As we discussed. No, he would be the softest. He'd um, be the fluffiest. For anyone who's in the back, like, doing this, is it possible for us to do some Q&A with the audience? Yeah. Do we have another Yes, we do have more mics. We've got a thumbs up from Captain Hardy. Yeah. Is that possible? Oh my God. Um, so maybe what we'll do is if you guys also have questions, maybe come line up... Somewhere? Maybe line up at the front. That's probably the safest so that the aisles are clear. But if you guys have questions or want to ask us anything, um, yeah, about the show or voice acting oh, or whatever. we've got an actual anything? dedicated Ooh. mic up here. And if you guys just want to watch us do bits, I mean... Yeah, we'll just keep doing them. I'll you don't want to do that. We'll do bits. You, you don't yeah. want to do that. Hey, um... Uh, we're inevitably going to get a question about like how we got started voice acting. Do we want to do like the the Cliff Notes version of how you got started? And oh yeah, let's get that one out right now. Yeah. Uh, so I went to art school uh, check, check, check. to make animation, and one thing led to another, and now I am voicing in animation. But it was kind of a series of events that you know I was doing filmmaking in art school. I was making short films. I started acting on camera. I realized acting was more fun than making the edits and stuff, and then got into voiceover. But what's also really cool is you still do art. So a lot I of the do. prints yeah. on the table... He actually did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of my prints, my t-shirt designs, uh, lots of stuff are my own artwork. So, yeah, He's super a real fun. renaissance man. Yeah. Look, we're not all as talented as you. So. Yes, we are. Here we are. You're definitely <laughs> not. No, 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 we are. <laughs> Some of us just roll out of bed and just go, okay, I'm gonna fight now. Uh, uh, how'd I, you get into acting? I uh, grew up doing commercials and I wanted to do musical theater. And then about halfway through college, I was like, you know, video games are a lot of fun. I like video games, I like video games. And um, yeah, now I do video games. So um, as a big Apex Legends player, what's yeah. like a, a, an example of a video game that you're in? <laughs> Fire Emblem. <laughs> nice. 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 That's great. That's great. And Adam, I'm in Fire Emblem too. You do? Are you, you in it? I'm in it. Actually, I'm in it too. You are? Are, are you, you not? Fire are you the only person who isn't in Fire Emblem? Yeah, because I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Yet, yet, oh, yet oh, he oh. doesn't do it. No. no. Yeah. Oh, are you just like too good? Did yeah. you watch him like turn? Though no, he didn't want to make anyone angry, so he just kind of turned into. No, I don't do it. fire emblems. You just, you're too what do you do? Good. Water emblems. I do water emblems. Hey, does anyone out there do fire emblems? Yeah, can we get some woos for oh, fire emblems? Oh, we got a couple. We got a couple. Yeah, yeah we got the woos. The, the fan name for fire emblem was em embers. The fire. We got some embers out in the audience. <laughs> Nice. You don't get to decide what the fandom's name is. If Taylor Swift gets to decide that people are called Swifties, yeah. I get to name the, the, the fire of yeah, It's not a one-to-one -one analogy. It is. It is. No. I'm the yeah. Taylor Swift of voice acting. Uh, yeah. That's true. And I don't make the rules. <laughs> Except right now. Except for right now when you're making the rules. And how'd you get into acting? Yeah. Um, so like everybody else on this on this uh, on this stage, I started off as a forensic scientist. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. CSI and. Uh, no, so I have a I have a biomedical.
medical engineering degree. Just then like I all of us. Went to, just like everybody else. And then I went to grad school for acting, so I have an MFA in acting, just like everybody else. And then I went and did, uh, I had a day job for seven and a half years as a forensic scientist while I was acting, like everybody else. Did yeah. you solve, how many murders did you solve when you were a zero, forensic Zero, I solved zero murders. Wow, that you weren't very good what at. Was good thing you retired to become an actor. <laughs> That's not the kind of forensic <laughs> scientist I was. That doesn't make any so, sense. So, Anne has how many acting credits at this point? How many, like, how many acting credits? I don't know. Do you uh, count? I don't know. It's just like 70. Like 70 acting sure. credits, zero murders. Zero murders. Yeah. Murders. yeah. So, so don't get murdered so here. So clearly I made the correct you know, career yeah. Yeah. change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adam, how did you become a, a voice actor? Gosh. He just, I feel like he didn't want to ask us that question. He wanted us to ask him yeah. that yeah. question. What do you mean? I did want to ask you that question. <laughs> yeah, why well, I asked it. No, do you guys, do you want to know where I'm from? I'm from the Bay Area. Can I get a... We're on my team now. <laughs> uh, so I grew up up here. I grew up in the East Bay, a little city called Pinole. Maybe you know it. It's on your, it's on your way to Six Flags in Vallejo, uh, which used to be called Marine World when I grew up. And then it got bad to have work because it's pets. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. They, so they made it a Six Flags. Uh, so I grew up up here, started acting when I was 16, um, would take Bart into San Francisco and walk the streets of San Francisco auditioning, and uh, I just never stopped, so. Now I just have an image in my head of like a 16-year-old Adam MacArthur just wandering the streets of San Francisco, Where just making I? funny voices. Acting? Where is acting? Where is someone I? find me an acting? Somebody hire me for my no, voice. Somebody find me some work. Well, my mom worked in San Francisco. What? At, at PG&E, okay. okay? Just calling out all the Bay Area things. Uh, at PG&E, and so I would take Bart over, and I would have my auditions, like, you could move times, like, because you just could do that here. Uh, so I would always move my times to just after lunch for my auditions, so that I could take Bart, have lunch with my mom, and then go do my auditions. That's so cute. Aww. That's smart. That's, That's smart. adorable. And, you guys want to get cray cray right now? Um, this was before GPS on your phone, okay? It was a while ago, it was yeah. like early, early, the late 90s, early 2000s, okay? So I didn't have GPS on my phone. So I had what's called a Thomas Guide, which is basically oh, it's like this big. Yeah. Did you, did you just clap for Thomas Guide? Yeah. Oh, I, I know the Thomas, Thomas Guide. Guy. Good old Thomas Guide. So I would walk the streets of San Francisco with a giant with map, trying to find my audition. Today, I had a Thomas Guide rather than one of those fancy GPSs. That's what he sounded like when he was 16. Exactly. It is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's me, Adam MacArthur. Yeah, my, my voice has Adam My voice has de-aged considerably <laughs> as I've gotten older. You're like the You're Benjamin Button. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the Benjamin Button and Taylor Swift of anime. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. That's wow. basically what it is. What a renaissance man. Yeah. Yeah. Is this what you guys thought you were this getting into? This is the Haley you were expecting, right? <laughs> yeah, no? See, you're being honest. One person's still <laughs> You're being honest, and I, you know what, you're so valid for that. I have stage. a question, what, what did you want us to do? <laughs> oh, well, we're doing this whole thing, we're just, we're doing bits. Oh, we we we're doing bits until someone comes up. Randy, we got Randy, Randy right here in a hard hat. Yeah. Randy, throw up the deuces. Um, let's get high feet. Yeah. Um, we're just bear, doing bear, this bear, 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 bear reference. Bear reference. Um, um, they don't get it. Who wants to ask the first question? Yeah, you guys, um, raise you your might hand, have to, raise your hand. Hold on, hold on a second, Randy. You don't have to go. You guys, go to Randy. Yeah. Go to Randy. Randy. He's already working help, today. Help a guy out. Yes. All right. We were just doing bits while we waited. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and everyone, you're going to do exactly what this person is doing. You're going to whisper to Randy's ear, Randy's thing, and ask us the question. That's not true. That's no. not, no. You're, you're allowed to ask. <laughs> yeah, first, you're going to whisper his <laughs> darkest secrets to Randy. Randy will nod and go, say... Go ahead. We'll start yes. talking once you start. Hi. 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 <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, next question. Wow. Sorry. 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 Oh, I was going to ask you a question, but now I don't know. Now you should ask me a question. Yeah, I'll ask all of you guys a question. Okay, what is your guys' favorite lines in character? Ooh. Um, are you trying to steal this for AI? Okay, good. Okay, good. Just out of curiosity. Great. I'm glad that was a binding contract. <laughs> I mean, the audio quality would be ass. I'm merely <laughs> panda. We don't understand human speak. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good, a good one. one. Um, 
Oh, I'm trying to remember. I always shorten it when I sign prints, but just like the, I can't wait to be a big shot sorcerer. Um, and then on the Miwa side, it would be, Hi, useless Miwa here. <laughs> uh, and since you're here, sorry. Hey, Maki, I think you got a chance. Huh? No! <laughs> um, my name is, uh, 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 I love myself when I'm pretty and all dressed up. And I love myself when I'm kicking ass! Yeah! Yeah, yeah and on that, like, really strong, like, go girls note, um, I think one of mine is, I like a tall woman <laughs> with a nice big ass. <laughs> I really, I was like, like, were they thinking of Al Pacino when they like when he wrote that line? It's just like, <laughs> big ass, big ass. Big ass. <laughs> Thank you for your question. Yeah, you're Thank awesome. You guys Thank so you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Uh, hi. Hello. Yo. It's nice hello. to meet you guys. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. you too. I was just wondering, what do you guys think of when you try to get into character when you voice like you? Al Pacino. <laughs> Um, for Maki, I just, I just try to be mean. Being mean works. Being mean? Just being really mean. <laughs> Panda's very much just like me in real life, my personality, so all I have to do is like be a little bit more heightened and like squeeze my belly a little bit, and, you know, it's Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, Nomura is a lot like me, I just think of uh, being a little crankier. Yeah, a little crankier? <laughs> a little but crankier. It's more than you. Um, and, and, and shopping. And shopping, I think yeah. shopping. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like um, Yushi's got this like really great golden retriever energy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And uh, what I love, thank you. Oh, go dogs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> go bark. Yeah. yeah. What, and what I think I love about him the most is he never catches a break. Like everything, like so much bad stuff happens to him, but he's even if he's not smiling, he kind of like smiles through it and keeps his positivity. So he's our rainbow sunshine boy, um, no matter what happens. So I think the golden retriever kind of vibe is something I try and, even when stuff is hard, try and keep that, that sort of vibe going. Yeah. In the Juju scroll, did he say dogs in the what's your favorite animal one? Yes. He did say dogs. Yeah. And that it's perfect. Yeah. yeah, if he had said cats, I would have quit on the spot. Because yeah. <laughs> no one likes cats. Oh <laughs> my god. I like what cats. The hell? Yeah, I just, I'm getting them all on my side again. No! I used to ride the bark with my dog. Yeah. Every day on the way to auditions. That's my impression. I wrote. Thank you so much. Thank you for your Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cats are awesome. Can't hear you. You're going to have to get in the back of the line. No. Wow. You're such a. He has no authority. Look how much money's happening, though. Hi, dear. What's your question? Sorry, sorry. Just to address that cat line again. Just. We can't all be right, you know what I'm saying? Some people have to be wrong. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, hi. Um, it's funny that you mentioned AI, because I had a question about it, and how you feel like the world of voice acting has evolved with the rise of technology in AI. And do you have any thoughts or opinions on it? You mean, what, what kind of technology? Like He said AI specifically. AI specifically? Yeah, yeah I, think I, but I think we should probably keep this, the conversation about this stuff sort of brief and condensed? Yeah, and I think um, the, the, the really short version of it, if everyone feels comfortable with me just kind of I don't know saying I something, is that um, there's a really dangerous precedent with the technology that um, people can obviously clone our performances and ultimately replace us. I know that on the on-camera world, people are very concerned about their likeness being used without their consent, and especially after their death. And, you know, as someone who's had loving friends in the industry pass away, the idea of their voices being cloned in that way gives me such existential horror. Um, so yeah, I think that it's, while I can understand people's enjoyment in terms of the creativity and the memes and everything, there is a, it's a very, very slippery slope that I, I at least very actively discourage. Um, and I think a lot of actors feel that way in general, but, um, and I'm sure there's some people who are like, there's potential, but, you know, yeah. generally speaking, like... 
But outside of AI, I mean, technology has been great for us. The, the whole pandemic, you know, we were yeah. able to record remotely, all of Jujutsu Kaisen season one, except for- recorded remotely. I think you, you went in her something, yeah. yeah, you did. Was recorded remotely, and so, you know, technology is really, really great, and it's been super helpful for people all around the country. AI specifically is, is a little bit it, existential it, it, for It's us. just come, it's just arrived too quickly. Yeah. And so, like, everyone's trying to catch up and feel like, how do we deal with this? Which yeah. makes sense. So, like, uh, there's a strike happening right now for a lot of actors, yeah. um, which is not Ooh. about, everyone thinks it's about money necessarily, but it's also about protection and stuff like that. Exactly, so, yeah. Um, so we, like, 100% support the efforts that are being made yeah. uh, with all that stuff. And it's basically so we can all get on the same page and work together. Yeah. Kind of thing. yeah. yeah. Look, th th these things are tools. These are, this is technology, these are tools. And we have to learn how to use them responsibly. But we yeah. need to have the space to be able to figure out how to do that without the train moving ahead of us. You did what you could and, and you never thought about whether you should, right? Is that yeah. a good Jeff Goldblum impression? No, no, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's, it, that's the thing. With all technology, there should be a conversation about the ethical use of that technology. And I feel like the conversation around ethics and AI is not as forward as it should be, especially when it comes to, you know, personal IP, I guess, in a sense, like to what extent can we claim ownership of who we are and our voices and protect that? And I feel like I'm, I'm at least seeing some strides in the art world and like the, the physical fine art world in terms of people going to Congress and talking about, um, you know, protection of the personal license. Um, and I'm hoping that if good strides are made in that direction, then actors, performers, influencers, models will be able to do the same about themselves yeah because if i don't own myself then what the hell do i own like yeah you know, that's it's a terrifying pop funko. a funko a funko a pop funko I a pop funko thank you thank you thank you so much sorry dark dark question <laughs> it's a good one though but these are big thoughts okay. hi there hi hello hi. you can say hi too you can yeah. say hi. <laughs> Oh, our favorite scene. Favorite quote and scene. Mm -hmm. Well, we kind of we kind of already went we to did. our quotes. quotes. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite scenes. I'll include a quote in it for you. One of my favorite scenes is the episode twenty three Juju stroll, oh, yeah. where Yuji comes running in and he's like, "Go, Jack! Look at Sake! Oh, girl's getting hit up!" Yeah, that's it's pretty great. fun. That's a great it's pretty scene. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one of my favorite scenes. And then another one of my favorite scenes is um, the very last episode when Nomura and uh, oh, Yuji yeah. are fighting the two yeah. first brothers and Nomura goes like feral. She's like, um, let's play a game of chicken. <laughs> That's one of my favorite so, moments. So cool. Nice. <laughs> this one is more about the other character in the scene as opposed to what I was strictly doing, but the Maki and Mai fight in episode 17. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I was recording it, Laura Post plays Mai had already recorded, and I was just crying. Oh. I was crying listening to her. She keeps doing that to me. I keep like recording after her, and she makes me cry. Honestly, like, wh why does she do that? Why so is she rude? Why is she so talented? Oh. But yeah, no. I mean, just the relationship between the sisters and seeing how that was ruined by the Zeni clan. Someone should do something about this, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, see and then cut all their hair off. Seeing that, yeah. Oh, you don't even know why. <laughs> you don't know why. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> Just um, you wait. I, I, Panda specifically, I love all the scenes where he ends up uh, being the big brother that like steps in and protects people. I, uh, the first time with Nobara when she's about to get blasted by Mechamaru and he jumps in front of the blast. That was one of my very first early favorite scenes. And then um, in the movie, when Gojo's like, oh crap, Yuta's gonna die, Panda, Toge, go save him. I was I love, about to say that one. Yeah, I love that moment. You know, all those moments where Panda's the person that, when the first years are in trouble, like, get them out of there or whatever. Um, and then it happened again. Um, I'm blanking on this. Oh, when, when uh, in the movie also, when Toge, when Yuta was afraid of Toge, because he wouldn't talk to him, and then Panda had that aside, and he was like, hey, listen, he's a nice guy, but he's gonna hurt you if he talks to you, that kind of thing. I love those big brother kind of energy moments of his. Yeah, heck yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hey, this is Jonah up here. This is my son. Say, give a, give a, uh, whatever. 
I'm very nervous about what he's about to say. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't have called that out. Can you three um, say that Adam... Three? You three? Oh, us three, okay. Oh, Let him finish. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Can you three say that Adam's character is the best character? No. And this is a great question. And dogs are better than cats? <laughs> no. Wait, what did you want us to say? say he that. said, can the three of us tell Adam on stage right now that his character is the best character? Aww. I mean, I could, but I don't want to lie. I wow, way to disappoint a child. Oh, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. Adam's character is the best character. Yeah! yeah. I also think that Adam's character, Yuji Itadori, is the best character. Yeah, way not to disappoint your son. I know. <laughs> Adam's character is the best character. What'd you say? And dogs are better than cats. Dang it, Jonah, I love you! It's my boy right there! We were walking in this morning, and Jonah was just like casually talking as eight year olds do, and he goes, you know. Yuji's my favorite character in the show, I'm sorry, Dad. Wow. And I was like, that's okay, you don't have to like characters that I play just because I play them. He goes, yeah, this is like my second favorite. Yeah. Hey, Jonah, second favorite. anything on my table you want, you can have it. <laughs> anything. It's all yours. Hey. Wow. All yours. Yeah, all Good over. question, Bob. Thanks, Good team. Job. I'll never forget you didn't say it. I did say she it. Did. Oh, you did? Yeah, she, I did say it. Can you say it again? Adam's character is the best character. That's how she said it. So a lot of like a lot of anime watchers really only ever experience anime through subs. And I was wondering if you guys ever watch the subs, and if so, do you take like any inspiration from from those performances? Well, we are seeing. Sorry, hold on one second. Did you come to my table earlier? I think I came by just took a selfie. Oh, you did. Okay, okay. Sorry, somebody left their wallet, and I thought that it was you, but it's a little. Uh, it was me. I wanted, it to make was sure me. You, I wanted to make sure you got your wallet back. It was me. I left yeah, it was, my wallet. It was my wallet. Yeah. Okay. My wallet. So, sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Um, I mean, well, we we listened to the original, like the original audio as a preview before every line, so we have an understanding of you know the performance that they originally gave yeah. for levels, for volume, for for all the little nuances of performance. Um, as more of a, like a concerted effort beforehand. Um, Yes and no. I like to be aware of what's coming up in something, um, just just so I can have that that added context, so I know where the character's arc is going, so that I can perhaps make a decision that will play out really nicely. Um, but by default, as as people who dub, we are li always listening bare minimum to the scenes that we are in and hearing them in Japanese before we act. Yeah, and you know. Depends on a lot of factors, like how busy are you, how easy is it to acquire the subs of whatever it is you're going to be working on. Because some yeah. shows you dub and it's not yet out. Like you'll do all of it in a chunk before it even comes out. Like a lot of Netflix shows yeah, have done like that. Um, you know, for me, like I kind of have to pick and choose like what's what's the best battle, right? And I just really like to do two guys in general, so I do watch the subs when I can before I have to go in for anything. Um, but that's not true for every show, and it's not because I don't like it. It's usually because of a timing issue or just capacity. Yeah. You know, it's interesting, as a fan, if I find a show that I really love, I'll binge the whole thing in Japanese. That's how I grew up watching anime and everything. Um, and, it, and it, yeah, it really comes from being a fan of, of the thing and just wanting to watch it. Maybe the dub isn't out yet. Um, but, yeah, I think the same answer that Allegra kind of gave is, well, not actually. I have wow. to, sorry. No, I, I changed my mind. I really didn't like what Allegra said. Um, but as an actor specifically, I often find that I like being able to make the choice in the moment, just like you would do if you were like on camera or whatever, or playing on a stage with someone. Uh, oftentimes, I won't read ahead on purpose because I feel like there might be a more genuine reaction for me in the booth when I'm when I'm in there. But simultaneously, the drawback to that is that like. If your character is keeping a secret, yeah, no, I totally, yeah, yeah. So it's it's a it's a balance it. between being no. authentically in the moment and knowing like, oh, there's something that my character knows that I need to be able to yeah. have in the back yeah. of my mind. Panda doesn't know anything though, so it's, <laughs> like, it's, it's okay. okay. He tries. Okay. He knows that he loves his friends. Yeah, he loves his friends. Yeah, for me, I like we're talking about Jujutsu Kaisen. 
I watch every episode before I go in, so I know exactly what's going on. I'm all caught up. I like look at the leaks <laughs> for the manga, so like I'm, uh, I'm like caught up. Are we not supposed to admit that? No, it's okay. I didn't have it. <laughs> Whatever. It's not like the leaks come out like five days. I know. It's, true, it's, true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's already out. Just can't wait. Yeah. yeah. So like uh, all that stuff, but I I do feel like there's something to kind of. Um, Honoring what the Japanese voice actor does, but also making it your own. So it's a, it is a fine balance. And ultimately, I think better received uh, dub interpretations are when a character is acting more for being genuine than trying to emulate another performance. So I would rather hear somebody who just sounds like they're doing a good job acting than somebody who sounds exactly like what the person sounded like in Japan. Because what's interesting is, if you talk to Japanese people who watch it in Japanese, obviously, they'll be like, this sounds weird, people don't talk like this. But for us, it's not, for most people, it's not our native, we're not hearing it natively, so it sounds cool, you know? But uh, yeah, I just think it's, it's more important to be genuine and the really acting, important. the acting is the most important part of it. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thanks, Steve. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Woo! So I was just trying to. Hi guys. So we only have time for three more. Oh, questions. No. Wait, where's the where's the end of the line? There's like a hundred people in the. Is it the curve? Oh. No. Yeah, that's kind of. Ra so raise your hand if you're the last person. Raise your hand if you're the last person. Oh, that's a lot. Can, yeah, can we, can, can a we lot. try, if we do speed round, only one person, and these have to be short. We said we're gonna make a short answer and then everyone's talking too much. We'll go as fast as we can. This is All right, if we can do a speed round, we'll do it. Speed okay. round, let's go. Speed round, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Not me. <laughs> Finally. I don't know if I can give this to all of you, but uh, if one of you, if you want to, you can go. Uh, so I'm, I'm studying acting in LA County, and uh, I want to be a voice actor. I really got into it through like Fire Emblem Three Houses, uh, and I, uh, I want to know like what's advi some advice you would give to a budding voice actor in terms of like finding work, finding projects to work on, auditioning, and what's something you wish you knew when you were starting out. Okay, make sure you're in acting classes. 100%. It could be theater, it could be voiceover, it could be improv, whatever. Make sure you're in some acting classes. If you want to study voiceover, study with people who are currently working, who are teaching classes. Richard Horvitz, Charlie Adler, Bill Farmer, all these guys who are like legends in VO. Go learn from them and absorb what you can. Go to a website called IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com and read everything on the website. Make sure you're doing all that. And then take your time. You have plenty of time. How old are you? 21 tomorrow. Happy, happy, happy early birthday. birthday. Guys, this is my answer. Happy early birthday. <laughs> happy early birthday. Take your time. Make sure you're ready before you do your demo and have fun. Someone has to book the job, so it might as well be you. Okay? Yeah. Do it. And happy Good. birthday. Speed round. No more happy birthdays. Your birthday's over to us. <laughs> happy birthday to everybody whose birthday is going to be. Yeah. Uh, hi. Since Yo. my first question was too long, I'll ask my second one. And this is for all of you guys. Barbie or Oppenheimer? Uh, that's a fast answer. Barbie. Um, um, Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh yeah, we can't answer questions sorry, about movies. That. It's because of the strike. But my answer is Ninja Turtles. I already said it. Yeah. I already said. It. That's okay. Hi, love you all. Uh, what would be your character's favorite Megan Thee Stallion song? What's your favorite? What? Your character's favorite Megan Thee Stallion song. Honestly, if any of them know Megan the Stein yeah. song, I'm gonna be stoked. You're gonna have to answer. Um, oh, uh, I feel like it's just Adam's answer. The quick answer is we're all too old. Is, um, God, I'm so old. What's that one? That, is it called Hot Girl? Is that what's called? Hot. Is that the name of it? Well, I mean, there's Hot Girl Summer. No, that's no, no, no. Yeah. It's the Hot Girl one. That's the one. The Hot I'm girl. sorry, we've been disappointed. Yeah. Next. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say the name of it. Hi, uh, my name is Carl, and my question is, if you had to pick one character from Jiu-Jitsu to have dinner with, who would it be and why? Nanami. <laughs> well, why Nanami? Because Go, Joe. You're, you're married. Nanami. <laughs> Go, Joe. Good. All right, we got Go, Joe, and Nanami. Next question. Outside of JJK, what is your favorite role? Probably Marco Diaz on Star vs. the Force of the Beetle. Riding Shogun. Uh, uh, I can't pick between my children, so I'll just pick Marisa from Street Fighter 6! Walk Red Razor! 
a child of God. Uh, besides Daddy Gojo, which who is your favorite anime crushes? Anime crushes. Anime crushes. Rain from Mobile Fighter G Gundam. Oh. Oh. Tuxedo Mask, you just you never forget your first crush? <laughs> I know he's gay, so he doesn't love me, but Victor and Kevin Oh! I don't do this. He crushes. Okay. Yeah. He's a answer. Thank you. Next question. Hi, uh, what is your inspiration or motivation for acting? Adam like MacArthur. <laughs> I like telling stories. I like to quote my actor, living, uh, my acting teacher, living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. Woo! Um, and yes. Well, hey, hey. Um, yeah, no, telling storytelling and getting to live and explore in different worlds is uh, very personally satisfying and artistically satisfying for me. Nice. I love playing. That's it's, all this is. It's fun. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we're speed answering. <laughs> we're gonna speed do this round, not rude. Sorry. Hi, Adam. Uh, for all my manga readers, uh, what was the first manga you read, and what's the current manga you're reading? First manga. The current is JJK. The first one. Ooh, I think it was Sailor Moon. It might be Sailor Moon. Yeah, Sailor Moon. And then my current one is, what did I just last read? Uh, I think I just last read the latest chapter of My Hero. I, I didn't start reading until I was in anime. I think Tower of God, is, which isn't technically a manga, but that was the first one that I started reading. JJK and JJK. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Uh, which one of your JJK fans are winning in a fight? Uh, I mean... Gojo. Oh, no. My oh, character, okay. Gojo. Um, manga? At the moment? At the moment? Wait, well, ooh, ooh. Uh, Our characters? Oh, it, uh, oh, you want to play? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. do you mean against you? Think, Where we are know. in the manga, <laughs> at the most recent manga update, it's absolutely me. I agree. I, I, yeah! <laughs> set up, what a set up. Hi, if you could voice a character <laughs> other than the one you already voiced, who could be? In JJK specifically? Yeah. Yuji, it's a Dory! <laughs> <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> it's painful. Never use, never use that voice for anything. Can you get in line and ask me what what to give you some voiceover advice? Because my advice would be never use that voice for anything. Yuji, it's a Dory! What is that? It's to me! Yuji, it's a Dory! It's a that's painful. Uh, honestly, I would say mine. But the, you know, it's because listening to Laura do it is like, oh my god, she's so good. So I'd probably say my Honest answer, I'd rather be Sukuna. Valid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably pick Mavi. Yeah. I think it'd be really fun to be a fishy girl. Just kind of moody and angry all the time. Actually, uh, gender aside, if we can ignore gender, I'd say Gojo. Oh, Gojo yeah. seems like he's, he's having like a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You crying? <laughs> All right, okay, last so question. The man that oh, look who we're wrapping, wrapping it up with. Last question. Oh, look who it is. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hey, wait, can oh, you loosen your tie a little bit before you ask the question? Wow. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. 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 We're just baiting Anne right now. Oh, yeah, buddy. Okay. Uh, just a quick question. What's the difference George. between anime versus video George. voice acting? Be, uh, traditional voice acting? Uh, uh, video, 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 what, what's the between anime versus uh, video game voice well, acting? Whether or not you're I, acting to picture. Um, yeah. Typically when you're doing video games, you're recording a lot of lines wild as opposed to recording it to picture. That's so there are no wild means things. a singular line out of any context. So yeah. video games are much under much tighter NDAs than anime. So like you said, anime you're watching it and kind of filling in a space with a line. And then, like you said, video yeah. games, it's its one line here, one line there. And also, depending on the game, you may also, they may not have picture yet. Yeah. So you're acting devoid of picture, devoid of context. You're acting also to means that, But it also means that there are no time constraints on the line. I mean, there may be some, but it's not that strict. Game. So yeah. it can end up being more naturalistic because you have more time to deliver it, that kind of thing. But you're also not necessarily hearing the other actor in the scene, so yes. you you know, you lose in that sense. So basically it's different. Thank you for your question. <laughs> Thank you. you guys, you're Thank amazing. You. Come Thank say you. hi to us. We would love to chat more. If you had a question that didn't get answered, come by our tables, we'll all be there. Season two is on Crunchyroll right now. The dub, the dub's only two weeks behind the sub, so yeah. we're like, we're yeah. flying. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be and back Panda, soon. Panda's in it so much. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, much. Panda's in so those much first Panda. few episodes, like the entire time. Hey, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Thanks for coming out.